this season on Healing Quest, we're seeing how feng shui can help keep us healthy. Our guide is the author of the book, Feng Shui and Health, which is about using this ancient art to, in her words, disarm illness, accelerate recovery, and create optimal health. Sounds good. And today she has some advice about one of the most important parts of any home, the bedroom. Uh -huh. The bed's very significant. We spend one third of our life in the bedroom, it's where body repairs, recuperates. Nancy's analysis of this bedroom's energetic health began with a unique feng shui tool, the bagua. This tool is a special part of the Tibetan black hat feng shui that Nancy practices. The bagua is an eight-sided map with each side representing a key area of life, things like wealth, career, family, and relationship. The map is superimposed over the full property, then over each floor of the house, and then over each room within the house. So we create this sort of overview of what's happening in terms of the chi flow. Then we make our assessment as we create a profile on what's happening to strengthen those areas or take away or decrease from those areas. Nancy says the most important thing in a bedroom is the positioning of the bed in relation to the bedroom door. It's best if the bed is facing the door without being in direct line with the door and happily the bed's positioning in this room was very good. However, the bed's relationship to the bathroom was quite another matter. We consider the bathroom an unstable room, no matter where it is, because water is constantly moving. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of movement with the, the vortex from flushing, the water going down the different drains. The body is made up of 80%, some say 85% water. When you have this set up, the water that flows in and through the bathroom tends to affect the chemistry and creates more of a vulnerability in more water-based organs like the kidneys, lungs that hold uh, water. We see a lot of sinus infections. So one of the things that I'm gonna suggest to create a bit of a barrier is we can, one, put up a curtain and then hang a crystal and that crystal will create an energetic shield that will create another divider between the bathroom and the bed. Overhead energy was also a challenge with the ceiling fan hanging above the foot of the bed. Energetically, the fan is a set of blades. So it's chopping the chi like this at the feet. So you're going to see problems uh, on a health level. You tend to see problems with the feet, the ankle, the knees, and the legs because the energy is, of the chi is being chopped up and really sort of broken up and in in not in a, in, a, in a healthy way. So we can keep the fan, but we want to adjust it and adjust some of the energy. And what I'll recommend is hanging a crystal from the fan so we can still get the benefits of the fan up here, but the crystal acts as a breaker. Finally, Nancy turned her attention to what the Bagua showed was the relationship corner of the bedroom. The most important corner in the bedroom is the relationship corner, you know, and the health. This particular relationship corner was dominated by a cute little cat castle. And although the castle's occupant was an important member of the household, she wasn't supposed to be dominating the relationship corner of the bedroom. So her castle was moved a few feet to the side, and a special photo of the couple became the focus of that part of the room. And then we'll add that to the relationship corner, so that's where the energy goes to, and that's what we'll look to build. Nancy says the bedroom deserves a lot of attention because of its importance in our lives every day. It's probably the only place we're in one place for anywhere from five to seven, eight hours. So the vibrational impact of the feng shui of the bedroom has the most impact on one's energy field. That separation between bedroom and bathroom is a really interesting point. Nancy said it's very, very common, and as we saw, it's very easily fixed, but she says it is something that should not be overlooked.